is, is that we forget that we are actually made from the materials of stardust. We are the evolving universe. So we are creativity. So it's impossible not to be creative, basically. <laughs> um, because we're part of a process that is. And even if you sit and do nothing, you're still part of a creative process. So, um, now, what is also interesting is, is that in the evolution of our universe, we are at the moment in a unique point where up to now we haven't been able to have um, an influence on what happens to the planet, maybe on ourselves, but not the planet. But now, what we do or don't do is everything. And um, nothing has any meaning unless we action that choice. So, um, that's you, me, and the planet in the first five minutes. So I just wanted to ask you why you decided to be part of this event. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I'm at a stage where I've had a very, very broad experience and worked in many different ways from um, research to further education to team building. I've worked in many different, to being a clinician. Um, and I feel that I'm at an, I'm looking at reimagining my life, if you like, and so I've stepped out of the um, high pressure jobs that I've been in and um, working to other people's standards to connect truly to my own standard and what I feel, my own integrity, which is um, work, ethic, work ethic, which are very strong, but I've been stifled a bit by the jobs that I've been in. And my passion is um, are creating things that are beautiful to help transform people through an experience and helping facilitate through education that expression in others. So reimagining education speaks to me as a title, both personally and professionally. And I felt it's something that I actually want to be exploring in my life for my next step. Um, and this came along at that moment when I had had to give up a job for for various reasons and I had the space to begin to think um, of how to really bring my creativity into all levels and embracing all my different experiences rather than having these different fragments which weren't connected. So this became a, a springboard for that and I'm doing it in all areas. Everything I do one feeds the other so for me life is an installation and um, I work, I have worked with light installations and I'm now realising that I actually am working to teach through it as if I'm creating an installation through the teaching, through um, sort of light embodied, colour embodied, movement and sound embodied. Um, that's a rather long answer to your question. It's a great answer. I love what you shared about um, life is an installation because I know that we've just done now in the last hour and a half kind of whistle-stop tour through the three days as part of our preparation for this event and I was really struck by even obviously it was a kind of um, a micro dose of the experience that people will have whilst participating and joining us but I was really struck by how um, how deeply one could travel even in such a short space of time and certainly for me I feel um, excited I mean, I'm very excited that you're part of this program anyway, but I feel really excited also for the participants who will be joining us because um, I know that with, you know, the time that we have allocated, which is, you know, an hour each day, that there will be lots of space for people to really get in touch with their own creativity and to understand what it means for them, but also to see how that creativity, um, like how it evolves in each person. Because as for me, it's evolved already in this process. And I have a clearer understanding of my relationship to creativity. And also, you know, in the exercise we did from the uh, day three in community, I've also got more clarity around my next step also beyond this event. And that's really been a very beautiful gift. I wasn't expecting to have that level of clarity and it's really energized me. Uh, so I feel really grateful to have had this space. So thank you so much oh, yes. for, for you know sharing 
the framework of what's to come. Great. And I think it'd be great because all this is working in kind of um, the imagination, idea, feeling level to actually get an output we could, that we could potentially make into something physical as well. And that's what I like about the art, that you, if we can kind of harvest people's um, creations and then put them into something which becomes physical at the end, I think that'd be really wonderful if there's that opportunity. Because um, uh, that's, yeah, because I think it's a big, what you've taken on is a really massive undertaking and it's really a lifetime's work that you're trying to compress into three days. And that's why I said in some ways, um, it's got an element of we're all piloting a new way of working, if you like. And out of that might come the strands that you can then put into an order to go into in more detail. Because reimagining education and for example, homeschooling, they could be a whole, you know, workshop in itself, couldn't like, what would be that? Would it follow a Waldorf thing? Would it, what would you bring in from different areas? Um, I think creativity has to be at the heart of it, but that, and that is not the traditional approach, is it? Um, so I think you're creating a platform from which maybe, you know, a lot of things can come. <laughs>